Well, good morning. Today is, let me fix myself. There we go. Today is Sunday, August 15th. And we do have a couple birthdays. Today is Janet Roybal, R-O-Y-B-A-L. Today's Janet's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Janet. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. It's also Mimi's birthday, but I have Mimi slash Tracy. So I think Mimi is related to Tracy, and I'm not really sure. So I'm going to sing to both Mimi and Tracy, but I don't know. I, sh I should have put some better notes in my calendar. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mimi. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. And just in case it really was Tracy's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tracy. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Um, well I hope I hope whoever you are, <laughs> you have a great birthday. Um I um don't have any plans for today. Denise came over, she's gonna have her surgery on Wednesday for her eye, eye so she had me put her eye drops in I can't put drops in my eyes either I don't know why it is I see that little container coming and and I just ju jump out of the way or something I don't know she's the same way so she came over this morning I put her drops in and I did some weeding and uh, completely forgot that it was Sunday so I missed church but the good thing the good thing about is that it's on YouTube <laughs> So I can watch it later on this afternoon. But I was going to actually go to the physical church. But I completely forgot. I, my days of the week are all running together now. So um, anyway. I finished this book. Which was the book of the year for 2016. All the Ugly and Wonderful Things. Uh, I wouldn't recommend the book. Uh, let me start by saying it was very well written and I did like the style of writing I did like the rate the writing it did capture my attention but the subject of this of the novel is very disturbing very 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 disturbing and it was only because it was so well written and I wanted to see how things turned out <laughs> that uh, I continued on with the book but uh, I wouldn't recommend it for um, it, unless you'd like and, and I don't mean well the, what it is is this girl is she's got abusive parents she's seven or eight years old and her parents have taught her that she shouldn't eat and that everything she does is dirty and you know all of that stuff and then um, she um, is befriended by this slow man uh, he's 23 but he's not mentally 23 and they kind of fall in love I know that's kind of weird 23 and 8 and then it just shows and then like when he's four she's 14 something happens and uh, he's sent away and when she's 21 they get back together it, it, it's disturbing very disturbing but unless a book is really crappy I don't I always finish it and like I said the the writing style was very very well written it won the book of the year so um, it's not pornographic it's just disturbing <laughs> so don't read it <laughs> I guess that's the whole the whole some other thing is I don't recommend that as a book the book I'm going to start reading now I gotta get this sticker off these things bug, bug me I don't like when you know like the uh, the price tag I get my books from Danny's mother-in-law and uh, she buys them and she keeps the little t stickers on and then when I get them she doesn't want them back so I, I read the book and then after I read the book I donate them to the library unless somebody wants to read them then I give them to them but the next book I'm going to read is The Surrogate and uh, by Louise Jensen and it's about this couple that are trying to get pregnant and they can't get pregnant and um, she runs into a childhood friend who kind of gives them one last chance for her so I'm assuming that means she's going to be a surrogate but then something happens all the cracks appearing in her perfect picture of the future, all of them in her head. Now she realizes she should be scared for her life and her family's safety. So it does sound a little bit more compelling than the other book that I read. So I'm going to read that one today. And uh, just stay on track. I, Jim and I were going to have steaks for dinner, but I realized there was only one steak in there. So Jim's going to have, we're going to probably split the steak. It's a, it's a good sized steak. And then... Um, and have a salad with it. 
and a baked potato. So that's what I'm going to have for dinner. And then for breakfast, I'm going to have um, my omelet slash scrambled egg mess. And, I'll th and then for, I'm just going to snack today. I think I'm going to have some watermelon later in the middle of the day because I'm not really that hungry. I'm just really glad that I stayed on track yesterday and I had so much fun at my reunion and everything worked out for me yesterday. It was just the perfect day all the way around. And with my birthday fast approaching, I know I'm going to drive people, I'm driving my family crazy already. I'm trying to think of things I want for my birthday because they always say I don't give them a list. And what I want for my birthday meal because they always cook my birthday meal but I never know what I want. And then when I just say, you know, like let's just get a pizza or something, they get all mad because I cook everybody theirs and so they want to cook mine. And So I usually have a, a ham dinner which not everybody likes. And, and and I usually always have a turtle cake, but um, not everybody likes my turtle cake either. So my other favorite cake is a bumpy cake. So I'm thinking I'm going to get a bumpy cake instead of my turtle cake. And we all know how much I love my turtle cake. Let's not make any qualms about how much I love my turtle cake. But since I'm usually the only one that eats the turtle cake, I usually slice up all the extra pieces and put them in the freezer. And that's just going to tempt me. And I know that I don't need that temptation around. Whereas if I have a bumpy cake, which I do like... Um, that I think it's like kind of like a whale cake that they have on the East Coast. I think it's pretty much the same. It's a chocolate cake with chocolate buttercream frosting and then like there's little pockets of cream in, in the inside. Very good cake. It really is a good cake. It's not a turtle cake, but it's a really good cake. That way everybody will eat the cake and there won't be any cake left over. So I'm leaning that way. And then um, for my dinner I haven't decided on that. I really like a honey baked ham, but oh my gosh, like a honey baked ham to feed my family is like $75. Jim always pays for it out of his money. Like I told you, my money, his money, our money, but he buys it out of his money. But uh, not everybody likes the ham either. And I know it's my birthday and that, but I guess I'd like, I'd like to celebrate my birthday and have everybody enjoy it. So I'm still thinking on that one. But Anyway, so but since it's so close to my birthday, because my birthday is the 7th, which is three weeks from Saturday, I think. 14th, 21st, 23rd. Yeah, three weeks from Saturday. Um, 28th. Yeah, three weeks. I had to think about that. Uh, I was just really thinking, do I just want to wait till my birthday to make my proclamation that I make every year? And, you know, a year from now, I'm going to be 100 pounds later. <laughs> I can't afford to be 100 pounds lighter now. Well, I could, but I don't want to get down that low. That would put me like really, really skinny, and I don't want to get skinny. I want to be healthy. That's my plan. I want to be healthy. So um, I was thinking of just waiting until then to get right back on track. But then when I had that huge gain last week, that really shifted my my thing back into reality. It really did because, um, you know, I so want to reach my goals. It's so hard to wait. It really is so hard for me to wait to, to I accomplish it. But then what am I waiting for? Once I accomplish it, I got to work at it to keep it off. So it's still going to be harder. And I think it's harder to realize that you're farther away like I am now. I was so close and then I jinxed myself, sabotaged myself, did whatever I did to myself. And so now I'm back far again, far away. And that's harder than thinking that I only have three pounds because now I got 25 pounds. So it's, you know, it's, it's something for me to think about. And let's face it, the longer I wait, the less likely it is going to happen. That it's going to happen. So I'm tired of waiting. I'm really, I'm tired of waiting. And so I have to get back on track. I usually, because I was looking back at my tracker, don't do that well in the summer. You would think in the summer you would do better because in the winter you have all these clothes that you can hide your body with. But there's so many tempting things in the summer. You know, like there's the ice cream store. I mean, which you can get all year round, but you tend to go towards it more in the summer. Uh, your vacations are more in the summer. Barbecues are more in the summer. You know, graduation parties, weddings. All that stuff comes up in the summer. So to me, it's harder for me to lose weight in the summer. So I have to really hang in here. Hang in like, you know, like I hang out of the thing so that I can make it till the fall because that's when I do my best is in the fall and I like to walk better in the fall I like walking in the cooler colder weather so I'm not gonna wait I gotta finish this up now because my neighbors have now started to cut the lawns so I don't know how much you're hearing 
But uh, don't wait for that perfect moment because you know the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to get older. That thing you can't change. You can never change that you're going to get older. Every day you're a little bit older and hopefully not deeper in depth. <laughs> so uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit that like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. As always, stay safe and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you.